all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to Exposed News TV, your one and only YouTube platform. We're giving a back-to-back -back update on how things they be, on how things they share for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Also remember to like and share this broadcast as it is hot. All right, uh, the latest one with the boss brains right now, my people, as it is hot. We say, yes, uh, the zoo government, the zoo police has uh, done it again, as uh, the Nigerian police, of course, have decided to attack and raid the home of the principal of a school called Stars of the Nation School, who they have connected to the end bad governance protest and uh, terrorism financing. Of course, that is what they would call a protest that a people that have freedom of speech have decided to come out to speak out and lay their cries to their government they have turned it into a terrorism they've started turning it into terrorism financing and that is how they left um, the Boko Haram and they started calling a uh, Biafra movement the uh, IPOB a terrorist group my people, if you've been following up, you know that this is what they once did. And uh, my people, I am not surprised that uh, at this point, this is what they are doing to these people. My people, this is the news as it follows. Uh, this this one is coming straight uh, from the Sahara Reporters. As they say that uh, it has been reported that the school administrator had been invited by the Office of the Deputy Commissioner of Police Intelligence Response Team and uh, over allegations to criminal conspiracy. Uh, in the, the terrorism financing, treasonable felonies, subversion, and cyber crime. He said the Nigerian police have invaded. The Nigerian police have invaded the house of the principal of Stars Nation Schools in Nasarawa State, uh, Mrs. Helen Batubo, in connection with the Ed bad, bad governance protest. He said that it was reported that the school administrator had been by the office of the DP, the Deputy Commissioner of Police Intelligence Response Team. And then the deputy, the Department of Force Intelligence, over allegations of criminal conspiracy, terrorism financing, treasonable felony, subversion, and the cyber crime. The invitation detailed detailed in an official letter required the school principal to appear for an interview on Tuesday, August 20, 2024, at the IRC, at the IRT complex in Guzapi District, Abuja. Guzapi district Abuja. Uh, he says that it was reported that Miss Bat Batubo is the stepdaughter of Mr. Drew, who owns the school and runs the bookshop on second floor of Nigeria Labor Congress Labor House in Abuja. The bookshop, along with other rooms in the building, was recently raided by security agents who carted away some who carted away some materials, claiming that the materials were used to incite and organize the ongoing and bad governance protests in the country. Sources told uh, Sahara reporters that the police raided the house of the school principal, and the police have invaded the house of the principal of the Star Station School in connection with the Ed bad governance protest. They invited them and they sent a letter that next week they will come, but they boggled the house, one of the sources said. Meanwhile, uh, the, uh, it was learned that Mr. Andrew, he is currently outside the country, is also a person of interest to the police. It was learned that his wife had also been invited for questioning over alleged, uh, over alleged uh, involvement in criminal, in criminal activities, uh, terrorism financing, treasonable felonies, subversion, and cybercrime. This is what, of course, they would do, as we all know that. Uh, these people do not have the, the, the things they should actually be fighting for. They are not fighting for it. And it says here that uh, the letter addressed to the principal of the school located at Sapon Gida, Akwatapi village, Kashi district, which is in Karu local government area. And Sarawas, it was taken to the school by about seven police personnel on Monday mm -hmm, who went there in a big hillox vehicle. It reads, this office is investigating a case criminal conspiracy, terrorism financing, treasonable felony, subversion, and cybercrime, in which you are mentioned. You are invited to interview to, to interview the undersigned, which is at the 
um, IRT complex, old abattoir by uh, Guape Johnson Abuja. This that's the address. Be informed that in the event of failing to honor this letter, this office will have no alternative than to activate a warrant of arrest against you. Please, then a school in this. A source in the school said that the letter was dropped at Mr. Andrew's school. Drew's half daughter and wife have also been invited. About seven police personnel went to the school to submit the letter. They brought the letter of invitation to the school in Orozo. Mr. Drew's half daughter is the principal of the school. So it wasn't only Comrade Joe Ajiro, NLC president, that was invited by the police. According to another source, Mr. Drew runs the bookshop and uh, runs the bookshop. Uh, on the second floor, which was recently raided by the police. Mr. Drew, he is also a person of interest to the police. Hence, the letter of invitation was sent to a person known by the police to be close to him, the source said. Yet, it is against the law for a person to be arrested and detained for a crime reasonably suspected to have been committed by another person. Uh, it was reported on Monday that uh, the NLC had been invited by the Office of the Deputy Commissioner of Police Intelligence Response Team over allegations of criminal conspiracy and the rest of it. Uh, the armed security men invaded the labor house, the NLC headquarters in Abuja, breaking into some possibilities. It was learned that they also raided the bookshop in the building and took some materials away in the advance, claiming that they were they were used they were used to incite and organize the recent 10 day and but bad governance protests my people we have seen how it has ended we have seen how it has uh, ended up to be we have seen what these people are even doing at the moment it is very very heartbreaking because of course this is what it is this is what happens when uh, we have people in place that do not know how things should be done and that is why each time we talk about this, things, we talk about the reason why we need the Biafra movement to continue and uh, why we should even put in more effort to it happening. So my people listen to the next audio that comes up. It is very interesting as uh, um, we hear more about the Biafra movement. Thank you. Oh, he left. He kept quiet and lived peacefully and left. But the generation that have come have picked it up. And it's even worse than his own now. And they are engaging it with an idea, with with knowledge. And do you know when this man said this, he said, and even worse than now than as it is before. When this man said it, we are talking about seven to eight years ago, when Mazinam de Kano was detained, illegally detained in Kuje. When he was arrested, actually arrested. In Lagos State, uh, you know, airport, international airport, Mutar Mohammed, airport hotel. So that is when this man was making these utterances, telling them that it is not about gun and bullets. And remember, that time we were not armed. IPOB members were being mauled on a daily basis. <laughs> we were not armed. The zoo were having their field day. <clears throat> Anytime they hear protest from IPOB, boom, they have come to suck blood that day. That day they have come to suck blood. And we were not armed. This man was telling them <laughs> this thing that even now it is now even worse than Ojuku them time. He was saying it, he never knew that we will be armed <laughs> someday. And this is just seven to eight years ago. Right? 2017. 2017. Right? So, he, he, even he himself <laughs> wasn't aware that the word he said that time in the name of prophecy will even go beyond what he said he saw. He never knew.
So if the zoo, if the zoo, zoological republic, was aware of what is going to be happening today, at least they would have paid attention to this man's word, even though they want to accept it as a prophecy. No problem. But the generation that have come have picked it up, and it's even worse than his own now, and they are engaging it with an idea, with with knowledge. So the best way to deal with this is not gun and bullet. It's not gun and bullet. When the revolution want to start the revolutionist the first thing they will do they will pass the idea and impregnate their followers the only way to stop it is to stop them before they impregnate the followers but if the followers are impregnated that's all all of them are carrying pregnancy they will soon deliver to other children if you if you have two million biafra you already have four million biafra because they are selling the ideology and now i don't have a problem but my, my own concern is that you don't take woman's life. The best way to do that, you engage them in the ideology. If you feel the ideology is not correct, you dialogue. You sit down with them. If dignifying them will make them feel important, then do that. Did you get that? That's why I told you we take our own and leave them with their own. He said, if dignifying them... <clears throat> If dignifying them will make them important, then do that. So that what will happen, so that the country will continue. But we are not here for that. We are not here for that. We do not need anybody to dignify us. No. Hold your digni dignity or whatever they call it. Hold it. Eat it. Bath with it. Sleep with it. Eat it. That you may be belly full. We don't need your dignity. Or dignifying, whatever. We don't need it. Let us go and build our own dignity in our own home. As a free nation. As a free people. That is the most important thing to all of us. We know how to build dignity. We are Biafrans. Nobody can teach us how to build, how to build integrity or dignity. We know it better than every other person. We know it. Our each one, we know it. Go and check record. We have more in men of integrity and dignity all over the world. Go and check record. Go, go, just go and do your own research. So we know how to make them. We know how to build a name. We know how to build dignity. We know how to build integrity. So, Fulani cannot come from Fota Jalon to give us dignity. Fulani or Tinubu controlled by the Fulani Bambiala and Boko Haram has no capacity to give us integrity. Never. So let us go and build our own dignity that the whole world may come and pay homage. We have what it takes to do it. And they know. They know very well that we have what it takes to build the dignity. That's why they are fighting. They don't want us to do it. Because they don't want to be relevant. They don't want to be seen as irrelevant people. You know, in a more fuma, in a more fuma, on ya nyuku no luna koko. Or if I now buy an obibo, how is this person doing this? How comes he is the one seen as so imp as somebody who is so much important? How comes he's the one? How comes? How comes? The only thing that, that will be coming in their mind is how come, how come, how come. They wouldn't want to wait and learn from you in order to be like you. Rather, they will be asking themselves, why him? Why her? How come? How come? But a wise person, a wise person, a very wise person 
who want to who wants to learn will take his time learn from you how are you doing it and when they are learned when they learned perfectly they will come out as you know um they will come out as champions I believe we are back. <clears throat> if you can hear my voice, please let me know in the comment section. I'm, I believe we are back. Sorry for the uh, interruption. Can you hear my voice? Please let me know in the comment section so that we can proceed. Very, very important. Let me know in the comment section if my voice is loud and clear. Gun and bullet. It's the spirit from everybody. Ojuku is not here, but Biafra is alive. <clears throat> it's an ideology. The man who started it has left. Before he left, he kept quiet and lived peacefully and left. But the generation that have come have picked it up. And it's even worse than his own now. And they are engaging it with, an ide with, with knowledge. So the best way to deal with this is not gun and bullet. It's not gun and bullet. When the revolution want to start, the revolutionists, the first thing they will do, they will pass the idea and impregnate their followers. The only way to stop it is to stop them before they impregnate the followers. But if the followers are impregnated, <laughs> that's all. All of them are carrying pregnancy. They will soon deliver to other children. If you, if you have 2 million Biafra, you already have 4 million Biafra. Because they are selling the ideology. And now, I don't have a problem. But my, my own concern is that you don't take woman's life. The best way to do that, you engage them in the ideology. If you feel the ideology is not correct, you dialogue. You sit down with them. If dignifying them will make them feel important, then do that. We can't be killing people and we're getting excited. No! Afonja, did you hear that? <laughs> Afonja, did you hear that? I am happy that this man is a Yoruba man. He said, you cannot be buying people and you want us to be happy with that. This man, this man, is a born again. <laughs> this man is a born again. You know, uh, is it a born again? No, he's a real. Should I say a real Christian? No, I don't believe in. Re I don't believe in religion. He's a born again. Yes. Did he only that word he said is enough for me to know that he's a born again? He is not biased. Yes, you you cannot be buying people. Let's hear that again. We 
can't be killing people and we're getting excited no you cannot be buying people and we're getting excited he said no he shouted in loud loud voice you see now that brings me to the all important question that has been hovering all over the, the you know the the the, uh, uh, the atmosphere asking these individuals especially the afon jazz and the fajunas in our land the afon jazz from yoruba land and the fajunas from Igbo land where have you all been you see the comment of this man here only that word he said you cannot be buying people and we are getting excited he said no he shouted in loud voice that has brought me to the question all the fulefus all their fungus who have been gallivanting all over the places all the media platforms that are there telling us how to fight for our freedom telling us how they dislike what they the so-called you know uh, violent uh, agitation the so-called violent ag agitation telling us how they don't support the way we are doing it telling us there is a way to do it telling us that if the zoo want to break up not the, the way we are doing it we cannot come together and uh, discuss and break it up what is holding you from coming together to discuss even without me without me can you could you please could you please go together or come together and discuss the breakup of the zoo and leave me behind leave me alone i don't want to follow you in fact the dialogue it discuss it come out with answer with a reasonable you know answer a uh, 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 response from your dialogue we will appreciate it <clears throat> we will appreciate it 100 percent. so all these idiots who go about on social media, so-called mainstream media, telling us how to fight for our freedom, that it is not by, by, by violent. Where were you? Where have you been? This man has vindicated us once again. He said, you cannot be going around buying people. And we're excited about that. He said, no. Only that word alone, I have labeled him a born again. Because, do you know why I told you that if truly there is a prophet, there is a man of God in the zoo, <laughs> there are not more than one. Do you know why I say so? <clears throat> do you know why I say so? You don't know. If I will still say it till the kingdom come, until the zoo is broken into pieces. If there is any man of God, any, I said any, if there is any real man of God in the zoo, they are not more than one. And the, that one that I'm talking about, I don't have a ginla at heart to say it. In fact, I don't have anybody at heart to say it. No one. But do you know why? <clears throat> because every man of God you see today, or should I say, majority of the men of God that I have seen all pray for the betterment of Nigeria. I want you to listen. <laughs> and sometimes it's confusing. If you don't pay good attention, it will confuse you. Almost all the men of God in the zoo today that I have seen, both live or video, all of them always pray for the betterment of the zoological republic. Today, stand in Catholic, in Catholic, where I was born. 
there's this segment there's this certain prayer they usually pray prayer for nigeria can any catholic in the house do we have any catholic in the house do we have any catholic in the house at least for you to be a witness i was born a catholic do we have any catholic in the house there's this segment there's this certain prayer they pray because i've not been in, i've not been to catholic church for ages now there's this prayer they do pray prayer for nigeria okay pray i don't worry <laughs> when i will open when i will open the line i would like anybody to remind me that prayer to even pray if you know how to pray because they customize it they <laughs> <laughs> they customize it it become a poem or a hymn <laughs> somebody say prayer for nigeria in distress <laughs> let me highlight it <laughs> Prayer for Nigeria in distress. <laughs> so, when is this distress going to end? Is it not? Does it not have ending? Every year, from year to year, you are praying for Nigeria in distress. When is the distress will leave the zoo? They customize it. They learn it. It's like a poem or a hymn. Every children knows how to sing it. Adults know how to sing it. Everybody knows how to sing it. <laughs> Somebody said both Anglican and both Catholic and Anglican. I didn't know it was like that in Anglican, by the way. I only know about Catholic because I was born a Catholic. <laughs> you see, prayer for the zoo in distress. This is the reason why I tell you I beat my chest and tell you that there is no any man of god in the entire nigeria if there is anyone they are not more than one because if you are a true let me not say man of god prophet yes those anybody you see calling himself prophet is a there is no prophet in the zoo because if there is any genuine prophet that hears from god you will know that nigeria can never survive this is where the only way i know whether you're a man of god or not once you talk good about the zoo you are not a man of god you are a fraud if you will fraud you are a pure fraud because you are supporting you are supporting a fraudulent entity <laughs> it's only a fraud that can support a fraud only a fraud can support a fraudulent entity like the zoo I'm telling you, I am telling you the truth. Any man or anybody who calls himself man of God and you are praying for the betterment of the zoo, the bias of innocent youths. Do you know that Nigeria is the killer of innocent youth of the same Nigeria? And you that call yourself man of God is praying for it, for the continuation of the killer of innocent youths. How dare you call yourself a man of God? How dare you? Emakuife, Ijikwaro, Ijikwaro. <laughs> Today in a cruiser. I ain't got so many money, boy. I had to go see no one. I had to see from village to village, monty. He come. He don't see village to village. Mabono to na village. Ndi otum. I ain't born yet otum. The person who wrote this, Victoria Osai, is either you are listening from the village or you were born in the village like me. <laughs> Chai, <chine kene. laughs> oh, the zoo na eh, bere maka Nigeria no nansobu. Exactly, that is the title of that prayer in the village, in this in town, in the town or in the cities. They call it prayer for Nigeria in distress. Yes. 
So if you are a, you say you are a man of God, and you are among those praying for the survival of Nigeria, which happens to be the Aya. Let me use that word, please. The other one, uh, the platform we are using doesn't like it. And you are supporting the Aya of innocent youths of the same zoo. Uh -uh. You are not a man of God. You are a fraud. You are just a fraud. You are parading yourself as a man of God. Carrying Bible. You are a fraud. If people no able, no genuine human being, be it man of God or not, be it prophet or not, can support in any way whatsoever the continuation of the zoo called Nigeria, which happens to be the ayah of innocent youths within this geographical uh you know entity or expression according to awolowo you can't you can't remember this analysis is not directed at iginla as you all know i've already called him uh you know a born again as you all know i've labeled him a born again already for what he said for him to say that you cannot be buying people and you expect us to be excited he has justified everything we are doing today he has justified our self-defense our self-defense approach he has also you know vindicated us in the future this video will be used for for for, for something very very important and for those who are now praising the zoo janja hey now the fact I'm, in fact i can get married this broadcast with this same video i will redo it for those who have been fighting for the zoo janja weed whenever they have been neutralized the terrorists whenever the terrorists have been neutralized there are some people who will come shamelessly come on social media to speak against it i want you to send this message to them to them today i want you to